All right, heads, what's happening? Tourhead Nordy here with you. So, as everyone knows, Bob Dylan has been on this big crazy tour and he played Japan last month. And when he played Japan, he did a bunch of dead covers, which was quite cool, actually. He played some of them several times. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Now, uh, his tour has been going on since 2021. It's just like a four-year thing, 21, 22, 23, and 24. It's amazing because he keeps doing stops right now. He was in Tokyo last month. Now he's all across the Mediterranean in Europe, like in Spain and Portugal and all kinds of various spots. So I guess they put his tour together as time goes on and they'll plan another part for next time, for next year because it runs way into 2024. What I'm speculating, and this is pure speculation on my part, but what I'm speculating is that since Dead and Company are ending this year, that Bob Dylan and Bob Weir, Bob Weir, Bob Dylan, may potentially play together next year on the fourth year of Bob's, probably his last tour, I'm not sure, but he is 82. Now this, like I said, was just me thinking ahead and wondering if this could potentially happen. Now, I thought maybe it might happen for summer tour for the final Dead and Company, he might jump on stage, but his tour doesn't end until five days before Dead and Company's final tour ends, so chances are that's not going to happen, but let's all speculate together. What if Bob Weir and Bob Dylan play the tour together next year? Now, there are no tours. Den Company's dust. Bobby will keep doing Wolf Brothers and he'll keep hitting tours, but his tours aren't a big summer tour. They're, they might become that, but lately and for the last bunch of years, they're smaller venues and hoppers around, and, which is nicer to see Bobby in a smaller venue like that. I much prefer that. But, Dylan, here, the two Bobs, I mean, Dylan did three versions of Broke Down, two versions of Truckin', uh, a couple versions of Only a River, Bobby's beautiful song, he also did Buddy Holly's Not Fade Away, which the Dead do, and, or Dead Company do, and... Dead & Company are well-versed, as is Bob Weir, in many, many, many Bob Dylan songs. So, speculation for next year, and that's all it is. <laughs> this is from uh, 87 Watson Stadium. Uh, looking Ballad of Thin Man, my favorite version, maybe my favorite song that they did the whole time. Just incredible. But, yeah, let's see what happens, you know. I'm just throwing it out there. Tell me what you guys think, if that even seems plausible to you guys. Or if anybody has heard anything about that. Or if anybody's already talked about this. And I just couldn't find it online. But I look pretty extensively. But send me a link if you have seen something about them potentially doing something. But to me, it seems to fit, you know. What's the stadium tour going to be next year? Wolf Brothers and... Dylan. You never know. Just throwing it out there, so let's see what happens. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? At least I think it would. They're both going slow these days, so, you know, they'll probably fit pretty well on the game. Alright, anyway, let me know what you think. Comments and all that shit. And, uh, let's go from there. Just drop in that one. See what everybody might think about it. So. Cheers. Jerry. You're walking alone, like a camera and you frown. You put your eyes in your pocket, you put your nose in the ground. Call me along, so guess you coming around. Next time you do, please remember to be with us and cheerful. Anybody go to this show at Hudson Stadium in 87? It was killer. I saw 
all the Dylan Dead shows except uh, Massachusetts, which was called Shaker Stadium, I think, then, but it's Foxborough. All right, let me know what you think, you guys. And maybe we'll see you all on a Dylan Weir tour next year. Dylan Weir next year? Thank you.